the BCNDP have also been attacking you, saying that you're against this tax. And this tax is arguably the most popular tax in BC history. Mm -hmm. So I want you to set the record straight. Are sure. you supportive of this tax? Are you against this tax? Where do you stand on the spec tax? Sure, no, and I appreciate that because uh, the NDP say that, but it's not true. I've never said that I'm going to get rid of the speculation tax. What I have said is it's important for the public to understand that it actually has nothing to do with speculation. So they called it that because the name sounds good. But speculation is when you're buying and flipping properties and making you know, uh, profits in a very short period of time. That's not what the speculation tax is about. The speculation tax is about charging people that own second homes uh, a fee for owning vacant them, homes, though, uh, or in high demand. Homes. But areas. but that includes cabins and cottages on lakefronts, etc. And so you know they're going to be paying extra. So what I have said is that I want to look at the whole suite of costs and taxes that government imposes on housing, not just provincial government. But you you've got GST, PST, property transfer taxes. You've got community amenity contributions, development cost charges. You've got public art charges. There's a whole list of costs that government imposes on the housing, and that represents about twenty five percent of the cost of every new home and condo and townhome built today. And so, you know, but those same politicians go out and say, we are so concerned about affordable housing. And yet they're a big part of the problem. And that's all I'm saying is that I want to look at all those costs through the lens of a first time buyer like you and say, is that fair that they're paying all these costs when they're trying to get into the marketplace?